Remote desktop services can be a useful solution for connecting users with their applications. But when users need to go through some kind of web page and multiple logins and multiple connections in order to access those applications, well, odds are they're going to gripe. Did you know that there's a way in which you can populate those connections to your remote apps directly into your user's start menu? You can do that with what's called the Remote App and Desktops Connection tool. And in this quick micro nugget from CVT Nuggets on the 70 416 exam, I talk a little bit about how to set it up. Let me go here and bring up the control panel. And what I want to take a look at here is the Remote App and Desktop Connections control panel here. Now you'll see that there are currently no connections available on this computer. We haven't set up anything at this point. Now, if you want, we can go over here to access Remote App and Desktop. And uh, what we have to do at this point is essentially set up the connection URL, which, as you can see down here, is equal to HTTPS, and then whatever our server name is, RDWeb. And then we have to add here at the end a little bit more information, which is uh, slash feed uh, slash web feed, uh, dot ASPX. When we make that connection, Making that connection is going to do exactly what we would think of, what or what we have been doing whenever we've been connecting up to the website. But instead, we're connecting up to a web service at this point. Now, you'll notice that, gosh, this, this connection URL is kind of a nightmare, right? Uh, trying to tell your users, well, I don't really want to you know, punch all that in there. The users are obviously going to get confused if you have to give them that whole long connection string. So one of the other options is to connect up with using a user's email address. And I'll show you here in just a minute this little, this nifty little cheat that we can use for uh, setting up that email address. In fact, it's kind of a spoof because it doesn't matter what email address you punch in here; it's going to connect you up to the right location. Uh, but assuming that you know we're, we'll do this here in just a second with the email address, let's actually create this connection through our basic connection URL. Uh, I'll choose next here, and you'll see that we're connecting up again to HTTPS. I, I, I've got to just caution you here because you have to connect up to an HTTPS site because Microsoft wants to make sure that the authentication occurs between client and server. I will click the next button here and uh, we'll punch in our username and password so we've got the correct credentials and after a second or so you'll see that we have a con successful connection here to the work resources connection over here under um, RDSH1. One program is available that program is going to be I believe our uh, WordPad location. And if we kind of pop back over here to the start menu, we should see the start menu now. Gosh, looky there. We have our WordPad icon that we can connect up to our remote resources. Click the connect button and there's our connection to WordPad. Pretty amazing. Like that really simplifies things for the users because they don't have to go to all those websites and you know click through all those extra steps to get from one place to the other. Want to learn more? Check out cptnuggets.com.